What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan time. Coming to you with part two, Mighty Fan's Black Friday pickups. Uh, I just started getting into these. I know a couple of you guys have these already. These are the shoot-around jackets that Mitchell and Ness has made for the 90s NBA. And, uh, you know, I have I have the jersey, of course, the Ray Allen rookie year 96-97 jersey. So this goes perfect with it. I got this at the Mitchell and Ness store during their 40% off deal. And, of course, it's the Milwaukee Bucks 96-97 shoot-around jacket. Really nice triple stitching on that Bucks. And I love the NBA 50 logo right there down towards the bottom. It's also got the uh, Milwaukee Bucks logo on the sleeve going down the purple and hunter green. Looks really nice together, of course, and it's got the cuffs going there as the Mitchell and Ness. Uh, the back is blank. It's also a button down, of course, but there you go. Uh, all right, so that's number one. This one I got online on, on their website, and because uh, it was the only place it was available, a shout out to A Rock, because I know this is one of his teams, the Timberwolves, and of course, with the fact that my character is a wolf in Fervis, I've become a little uh, collector of wolf paraphernalia and clothing. I have some shirts and some Timberwolves hats and stuff like that. And this one goes with it too. And uh, this of course also goes with my rookie year KG jersey that Mitchell and S made um, that I have in the collection. And it's of course the Wolves single stitched NBA logo. And I really like the stripes going down the sleeves. I think that's really sharp. And it's got going down the bottom and, and, and the uh, neck too and shoulders. Uh, the back Really cool. I like this Minnesota with the big older Timberwolves logo on the back. I always like that logo. That was always one of my favorite logos too. So there it is. It's a happy furthest. But anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, there it is. Minnesota Timberwolves shoot around jacket. And last but not least, because you can never have too many MJ jerseys. I got this one real cheap on eBay over the weekend. It's a little scuffed up, the numbers, but uh, I didn't notice on the pictures exactly how scuffed up. But it's okay. It's still a nice jersey to wear around, and you can never go wrong with an MJ jersey. So I got the Nike uh, Replica Swingman MJ. Um, this is one they made years ago, but you know, I got it off eBay from a seller. It's got everything generically stitched onto the front and onto the back. It's got the block letter Jordan uh, 23. This is like reminiscent of his final shot jersey with the Bulls from the 98 uh, finals over Utah. I may even get the finals patch to go with it. Like I said, it's a generic jersey. It's a replica of Swingman, but uh, Nike made it years ago. I also have the rookie home in a way that Nike made those years ago. I do have aspirations of getting a few more Jordans in the collection. <laughs> more on that in a future vid. But anyhow, those are the, those are the uh, part two of my Black Friday pickups. A jersey, a couple of jackets. I still got some hats, believe it or not, and I'll show them in the next video. So until then, this is Mighty Fan, as always, saying peace and big shouts to all of my subscribers, fellow Jersey Heads, family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members, anyone I'm forgetting, as always. This is Mighty Fan once again saying peace. I will see you in the next video. Sorry it's a short one, but my battery is running low once again, so I got to get going. All right, everyone. See you in the next video. Take care. Peace.